Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, I'm Dylan Richards, and I am on the negative side as to why I believe physician-assisted suicide or euthanasia should be illegal. So, uh, and I'm also going against Brian Craig. So, uh, as we know from Brian's previous video, um, assisted suicide normally interests a lot of people when we first hear about it um, to support uh, on the affirmative side. But the further we dive deep into this, actually, we can see why it should be illegal. The people uh, and the argument that Brian supports does not dive deep into the argument. And by dive deep, I mean into the finer details. Although the idea of it sounds great on the surface of it, we really need to dive deep and think about physician-assisted suicide as why it should be illegal. So to start the rationale behind physician-assisted suicide, um, it eradicates the whole reason providers took an oath. They took an oath to support, especially support and protect these patients. Now we have things in place such as DNR, DNI orders, a patient um, will of their, of their healthcare wishes um, if they're mentally incapable of making a decision, as well as withdrawing care and moving to comfort or palliative care. Uh, Brian does talk about dying with dignity and as I said, those previous wishes, DNR, DNI, um, a patient's will, a patient's uh, health care wishes and withdrawing care, that is dying with dignity, dignity because at the end of the day, um, they're, you, they're providing their medical wishes uh, and, remain, and they're re still remaining comfortable at their end of life. Uh, Physician-assisted suicide uh, has a very narrow window also, as we know. There's so many legalities and uh, so many requirements and guidelines that a patient must face to even meet the criteria of being an option for this. Uh, and this is just too narrow for it to be legal. There is such a little amount of patients that could actually benefit from this opportunity because of all the guidelines they must meet. And it's too much of a burden on healthcare. Uh, insurance will go up uh, and many other legalities that we can't even think about um, at the top of the surface of physician-assisted suicide um, that many people support because they genuinely just don't know the finer details. Uh, so main reasons is why this can't be legal is it creates a lot of unnecessary pressure on a patient that they don't need. Um, a doctor offering a, a terminal illness and... Uh, putting pressure as giving this an option might seem okay. Um, and a patient might think, well, this might be easier for my family, but what does the patient want? What does the patient truly want? And also, um, we don't know if the patient's facing depression. And one of the main, uh, one of the biggest things we have to look into depression is um, the thought of dying and the thought of suicide. And Although we, they go through a psych evaluation, a lot of these times these patients are going to be depressed. It's really tough, and a patient can hide that they're not depressed. They just truly want um, to not suffer anymore, and that's that's such a fine line that I think and many others uh, shouldn't have to face. Um, and also some other aspects. This can also cover up abuse because especially in Oregon, which is the was the first state for. Uh, assisted suicide to be legalized, the data collected on this cannot be made available for public use. There's no penalties or anything related to assisted suicide also. And the, jo the job of the doctor, like I said, is to help with pain, not kill the patient. A lot of this can really deteriorate a patient-provider relationship because the option of assisted suicide can always sit in the back on a patient's mind and really affect how they view their provider. Some patients can view this as just an easy way out for the provider because at the end of the day, if the patient makes that decision, that affects nothing to their license. And that's why it puts a lot of more pressure on the patient. So as I said earlier, um, we really have to focus on the above the water wishes of physician assisted suicide, that it would support a very little amount of suffering patients. We really need to focus on that fine detail um, that are that there are many significant dangers that this poses and all the unintended consequences that this could bring us. Um, I see a lot of court cases 
going on in the future, and um, I think it's something that's very unnecessary because the status quo of what we have right now, of like I said, of ha a patient providing their will, um, providing their wishes, their DNR, DNI orders, um, withdrawing care. As nurses, we all know how palliative care goes. Uh, we see a lot of morphine. We see a lot of Ativan. Um, turn and repositioning. Just withdrawing care. Making this patient as comfortable as we can um, to help them go on to the next chapter of their life. And that's where I think um, our country should be. And that's where I stand on physician-assisted suicide.